Everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are doing kind of a vlog style video um, so I know that a lot of you have asked me like hey why do you do vlogs and stuff and I'm like oh I don't really have the right you know camera for it I don't have the right really equipment for going out and about so I went to my local Toys R Us and Walmart here in Canada if you guys don't remember that I am um, in Canada I'm in BC um, so they finally got some Fallen Kingdom stuff so actually Walmart just has some Lego they have about five or or six or something sets of Lego, I believe. And, um, and then Toys R Us did have some uh, dinosaurs. So Toys R Us had like some Lego and they had the Indoraptor, they had one called um, Thrash and Throw T-Rex. And they had a gyrosphere set, they had like the Jeep Wrangler, you know, and you can just like remote control it around. It's like a race car. Okay, so they had that and they had like a small dinosaur pack and they also had these little small matchbox toys. So they had the um, little gyrosphere and they had that little submersible, you know, that they kind of, you know, you saw it in the trailer when they were going to see like the Indominus in the lagoon. I caved and I got the Indoraptor. Uh, this was $29 Canadian, which I was really pleased. I thought this was gonna be definitely like more. I thought this was gonna be like 39 or something. So this is really cool. You know, it's like uh, super poseable. You know, I just love the little spines and stuff that it has. And I love that gold on the side. It looks so menacing. It's very, very scary. Definitely like a nightmare hybrid for sure. They had the one Thrash and Throw T-Rex there, um, but the box is like super like um, trashed. And I also did, wasn't, so I wasn't prepared to buy that. And I also wasn't really prepared to pay $59 for it. Um, I think it was 59 or was it 69? I think it was 59. Um, but still, I wasn't willing to pay that much money right then and there. Um, so yeah, I'm just super bummed how, you know, in Canada here, we're just starting to get the trickling of the toys finally. I mean, the movie is like, what, a month away or something? More than a month, obviously, but it's so close. So I'm just surprised that we don't have all the toys yet. Um, the toys that I was most anticipating is the Colossal T-Rex, Thrash and Throw T-Rex, and this Indoraptor, uh, the Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus is the number one toy that I'm most anticipating. I love the Mosasaurus. It's just such a cool toy and it has like the realistic rubber skin and stuff. It's a fairly big sized toy too. And it just looks like a great, great toy. It kind of reminds me of the old Kenner toys, like the Red Rex toy, kind of like recreating that. Um, and then obviously the Carn Carnotaurus because I love Carnotaurus as well. I have like a little Carnotaurus collection going. So that one would definitely make an awesome addition to the collection. When I was first anticipating this toy line, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to like get all the toys and do reviews on them all. But you know, I'm ju I just started seeing these toys and already like in the US, you guys have had these for so long. You've had them for like weeks and weeks. And um, the, I feel like YouTube is just like already saturated with like all these Fallen Kingdom reviews. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing any of those reviews. So I have a kind of question for all you collectors out there. Um, I don't know if um, you guys also have this problem. Maybe you've already solved it. Um, but I'm relatively new to buying new toys, buying new toy lines, you know, like Force Awakens, you know, Star Wars, Avengers stuff, Black Panthers, blah, 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 Marvels, Infinity Wars, all this kind of stuff, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, all these things, all these new things. Things. I'm usually kind of collecting old toys, you know, like from 80s and 90s. So I kind of get what I can get. Sometimes it's boxed, which is amazing. Sometimes it's open. So it's kind of hit or miss. But um, so with all these new toy lines coming out, I don't know whether to, number one, open it, or number two, don't open it. So it's just like, I want to open it. I want to use it. I want to like, you know, kind of display it in my collection, you know, maybe do some videos on it and just kind of get my use out of it. Or I can just leave it in the box and you know, it's nice, minty, clean. You can see all the advertisement on it. It's very, very pretty, you know, and it's like mint in box. So I just don't know, like obviously in a perfect world, if I had a lot of money, I would be, you know, buying duplicates of everything. Have one open to kind of play with and also have one box and kind of looking very nice, you know? Um, so just don't know. So to all you toy collectors out there, people who are interested you know in these new toy lines and stuff what do you do with all the toys that you buy do you buy it and then just open it up or do you buy it and just keep it or are you a hardcore and spend a whole bunch of money and buy everything in duplicate so I'm just kind of uh, wondering what kind of the general consensus is of all you kind of people who are buying new toys so yeah I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this girl here I mean this is so cool I really want to open it I want to play with it I want to display it I want to take some sweet pictures with it you know but at the same time I want to keep it in this really cool box so that was my kind of vloggy style video guys um, um, I hope to do more of these. Hopefully I can maybe upgrade my crappy phone that can't even support, you know, any of the new iOS 
updates or whatever, you know, like I can't even use Facebook or Instagram on there. Um, it's really bad. So I use everything on my iPad, but you know, I can't really go like vlogging with my iPad. So hopefully I'll maybe upgrade my phone soon, or I will get maybe a small little vlogging camera, maybe take you around, you know, to when I do like some thrift store stuff, when I do some like fun activities, like nerdy activity things, or, you know, go see like a new movie, you know, and if I'm waiting in line, I can kind of talk to the people around me. So hopefully I can make that happen. So please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I come with new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, unless if I get invited for Chinese food. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary.